In this video, I'm going to help you learn physics and calculus. And I'm going to try to do that by answering a wonderful email that I received from someone. This is a great email. I'm going to read it in its entirety because it is very well written. And I don't know, I feel like there's so much potential in this person that is sending this email. The subject is calculus and where to proceed. Dear Math Sorcerer, hello, my name is Khan and I am an eighth grader at a middle school in Florida. I have been intrigued by mathematics my whole life and have dibbled and dabbled into pre-calculus and will be taking Algebra 2 in the summer. Where, how do you recommend I proceed into calculus physics as those are the areas that pique my interest? Note, you are free to reply to this email on your YouTube channel, Sincerely, Khan. So first, I want to emphasize that this email is extremely well written. That's amazing. Also, the fact that Khan is in eighth grade is incredible. When I first read this, I thought, what was I doing when I was in eighth grade? And Khan, the fact that you're even doing mathematics and caring about mathematics in eighth grade is incredible and super impressive. And it's just, I, I, can't, I can't put it into words how exciting this is. So I do have lots of advice. And let's start with some solid advice that you can take if you want to, that I think will help you. So in order to learn calculus, you need to know trigonometry. And in order to really understand a lot of physics, you need to know calculus. So your first step is going to be to learn trig. So there are two ways to learn math that I'm going to discuss. The first way is through books. So I have picked one book for each subject that you will need. And I've picked books that are widely accessible, they should be affordable, they're modern and they have lots of examples and they're going to go along well with any future course you take. Also with books, you're going to have them for the rest of your life. So my advice is that if you don't already do it, use this as, use this as an opportunity to start your math and physics book collection. Start collecting old books because your collection will grow and with it, your knowledge will grow. With old books, you can gain new knowledge. It's just an awesome thing to get into. So let's start with pre-calculus. This is a book that covers algebra and trigonometry, which is essentially pre-calculus. This will give you everything you need in order to learn calculus. Now, obviously you don't have to read the whole book. Most human beings don't. If you were actually able to read this entire book or understand even 80% of what's in this book at a very solid level, you would be extremely, extremely good. I mean, this, there's a lot of knowledge in this book. You know, you can take a course on algebra, you can take a course on pre-calculus, you can take a course on trig, and you still won't be able to like do everything in this book. That's not how it works. People think that, you know, I read all these books. No, 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 no. You just work through some of the problems every once in a while. This is the one by Sullivan. I'll, I'll leave links in the description to all of these books in case you want to check them out. When you click the link, by the way, look for used copies. That way you can save some money. Um, new, this book is probably pretty expensive. Oh, this is a nice book. Excellent choice for pre-calculus. It's the one by Sullivan. It's got a nice cover. Uh, the edition doesn't really matter, so don't worry too much about what edition you get. So pre-calculus. Now, I don't know exactly what Algebra 2 covers, but you do need some trig. So trig is found in this book. So that's something you should get no matter what. That's getting a book that has trig is key. If you already have one, don't worry about it. Uh, I don't know how the books work in high school, but like if you're able to, if the book is yours and you own it, that's great, but if you're like borrowing the book from the school, uh, that's not good. You need your own books. You need books that are yours, that are yours and you can keep forever. That's the big advantage of books. As far as calculus, I've picked one book and there's so many good calculus books and I picked this one because it's the most popular one in the US today and you live in the US. Calculus by Stewart. Uh, there's two versions. This is the regular version and then there's the early transcendentals version. It doesn't really matter which one you get. Just get one. It doesn't really matter which edition you get either. Just get a used copy of this book. I used the early transcendentals version when I was in college and I paid over $200 for it. Uh, I still have it, but I don't know where it is. It's falling apart. This one I got, I believe used and I didn't pay uh, that much for it. So fifth edition, that's this one. But again, the edition doesn't matter. You're gonna get stuck. The book is not perfect, 
but it's very standard and it has everything you need for calculus one, calculus two, and calculus three. So you need a big, thick calculus book. Um, again, look for used copies in the link in the description, or you can get a new one, but used copies are cheaper. Great choice. Again, there's other good books. Um, some people don't like this book. I remember being stuck trying to understand this book. Still worth it though, because it's a solid book and it has a lot of good exercises. I love the exercises in this book. I think they're very, very good. As for physics, so for physics, I'm gonna recommend this one. There's other more popular books, but I feel like this one is really good. It's the one by Giancoli. Uh, physics, Giancoli. I'll leave a link in the description. I don't know how it will be used. I didn't check to see like how many copies are available, but this is an excellent book on physics. It is one of the better ones. It has very, very good explanations. Uh, it's an excellent book on physics. It's fantastic. There's other really popular ones out there, but I thought I would choose one so that it's very clear and you have a, a concise answer to your question so you know exactly which ones to get. And again, you don't have to follow my advice. You can just get a different book. It's not gonna make that much of a difference. So again, for pre-calculus, the one by Sullivan. For calculus, the one by Stewart. For physics, the one by Giancoli. I'll leave links in the description. Those are all good choices. So step one, get books. Step two, optional, take a course, right? There's courses on different websites. There's all kinds of interactive learning platforms. I haven't used any of them. Um, I prefer books, I'm a book person, that's just me. However, I do actually have courses, um, so you can buy one of my courses. If you do, please use my website, mathsorcerer.com. I have a course on trig, I have two courses on trig, and uh, a couple courses on calculus, so those would be helpful to you, the courses on trig, and the ones on calculus. I also have a college algebra course, which is really good and it has a lot of assignments, which might be helpful. MathSorcerer.com. The courses are actually hosted on the Udemy website. They're actually Udemy courses, but please use my links uh, through my website, MathSorcerer.com, if you choose to go the course route. If you take anything away from this video, it's that you're in eighth grade and you're doing mathematics, and I think that's awesome. That is the main reason I made this video. I thought I have to reply to this email because it's so cool. Most of the viewers on this channel, by the way, are not in eighth grade con because I can see, I can see the ages of the people who watch these videos, and the majority of the people on this channel are over eighteen. There's, there's very few that are like in high school and stuff. And the ones, that, I mean, if you are, that's amazing. But there, there's so if you're watching this and you are, wow, because you're rare. Because <laughs> I forgot, I, I don't have uh, my computer on, so I can't check the percentage. But it's pretty small. Most people are, I think, between the ages of eighteen and twenty-four. And then there's good chunks of people that are older. There's a lot of older people who watch these videos. So if you're older, you're not alone, right? There's older people who are trying to get back into mathematics or going back to college. It's mostly older people. So to get to get a message from an eighth grader uh, is is pretty cool. So I thought I should I should make this uh, video. So yeah, that's my advice, Con. Books first. Obviously, I want you to buy my courses, but books are more important. Uh, and you don't have to get these, but try to get a book on calculus, a book on physics, a book on trig, pre-calc book and then go from there. As far as like learning, what you're gonna wanna do is, obviously you know how to learn. My advice is, I mean, you're in eighth grade, right? So I have all kinds of things I can tell you I think you should do, right? But my advice is, um, you know, try to do a little bit every day, right? Try to do a little bit of math every day and try to make it a habit, right? Just a little bit every day. Also try to do something physical every day. You're in eighth grade. I know when I was in eighth grade, um, uh, I, I wish I would have done more of that. I, I did a lot of uh, gaming, which is fine. I was into Magic the Gathering cards, and I was really big on Magic back then. Uh, I was always a nerd. So yeah, anyways, I hope it's been helpful, Con. Enough about me. I'll leave it at that. Um, I think it's great that we care about calculus and physics, and you're in eighth grade, and you're so young. And uh, keep at it, right? Try to find time to do it a little bit every day, and just keep grinding. I hope it's been helpful. Oh, if anyone has advice for Con, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you're watching this video and you feel like you got any value from it at all, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If not, that's okay too. Until next time, good luck. Keep doing mathematics.